Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 12. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so welcome back to Taurus Trophy. And today we're going to be doing the biggest section of bikes of all of these. Uh, and that is going to be the Yamaha bikes. Uh, so we're going to start off with um, the free open ones. I couldn't think of the word for that then. Move on to the novice, the junior, the expert, and then the super right at the end. But look at how many bikes there are we have to do for Yamaha. So let's get started straight away with the Yamaha TW225E. And I'm going to... Ooh. Not going to lie, I quite like that in white. I'm going to take that. You might be able to tell as well in these recordings that uh, I've got a slightly blocked up nose. So I sound very different today. Um, but I want to get the uh, challenge mode completely finished. Because... Um, Tomorrow, I want to start on actual races. Because the challenge mode has gone on for a while now. So let's finish it all off today. This is an okay bike. It's just not very quick. But um, around the high speed ring should be okay. Oh, careful. Watch it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One and across the line, we win. Ta-da! 48.5 seconds, that is a very, very good time. And we're going to go straight on to the next bike. And here we go, the Yamaha TW225E from 2005. That is a very good bike. And we've obviously got the uh, additional exhaust upgrade. I don't actually know what that does, but it apparently does something. Um, so we will find out at some point. But uh, next up is the Yamaha Grand Majesty. We've got another one of these mopeds. Hopefully will be the only moped that we will come across. But, uh... Hmm. I'm going to take it in black this time. Let's go. Right, here we go. Some of the biggest bikes you will ever witness. These Yamahas are. They're absolutely massive. I'm having so much fun actually playing um, Taurus Trophy. Playing through all these games, all these uh, bikes and that. But one I really want to do, and let me know in the comments if you want to see this, is a Gran Turismo 4 series. Um, obviously, the quality will be the same as what you're seeing now. I can't get it at like maximum quality like other walkthroughs. Um, so if you guys do want to see that, let me know. But for now, let's finish off Taurus Trophy. I do have massive plans as well for next year. Um, start of next year. I think I've already discussed this on my community tabs. But um, yeah, the plan is... Obviously, take this with a pinch of salt. I may not do it in the end, but I think I will. I'm 95% sure I'll end up doing it. Is a... 100% walkthrough of every single Forza game from 1 all the way through to Horizon 4. So it's going to be a mega marathon and the episodes will be every other day like crazy. And there we go. Finished. 1 minute 34.5. Very nice. But yeah, I have a massive plan for Forza. So stay tuned for that for updates on that. And here we go, Yamaha Grand Majesty 250. Awesome. Look at that. We got ourselves another bike. Let's have a look and see what the next bike is. And that is gonna be a Yamaha TZR 250 from 1985 in white and red, a very, very nice color scheme. And let's go to the Autumn Ring Mini. And here we go. 
Oh, oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Whoa, overshot the corner so much there. This bike is so much more powerful than the last one. It sort of caught me off guard. Awesome. Make sure to keep it on the track. Are we going to get a bike within... This could be the quickest win we've ever done. Thirty-four point two one one. I think that's one of the quickest we've done. That is definitely in the top ten. Maybe even the top five. Might be in the top five. But that was quick. And here we go. The Yamaha TZR250. Look at that. We got ourselves an exhaust upgrade and everything. It's very good. And next up is going to be the Yamaha, of course. The TZR250 SPR from 1995. Very nice bike. I am looking forward to driving this one. Right, here we go. Let's go. Oh, it's very windy outside today. Britain's been having some extreme weather. Like, oh, that was close. <laughs> that was very close. Britain's been having some really extreme weather lately, where um, it's been absolutely scorching for nearly two weeks straight, no rain for about a month, to then having loads of rain, thunderstorms, lightning, everything, windstorms, any sort of storm you could think of, Britain has had it over the past week. Not quite a hurricane or anything like that yet. Whoa, that was close. Right, let's hopefully get around this corner without doing a buckaroo. Oh, you've got to be very careful on the brakes through there with this bike. This bike does not like that corner one bit. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Whoa! Wait, I was still in the lead, wasn't I? Oh, well. And there is the win. 1 minute 22.862. Awesome. That was a good one. Nearly lost it at the start though with that wobble. And there we go. The Yamaha TZR250 SPR is now ours to own and to drive. Which I will probably end up taking that bike. Because that has been the most powerful 250cc. And I think the first race is a 250 only. So, next up is the Yamaha SR400. And I'm going... I don't know why, but I fancy white bikes today. So, we're going for the colour white for most of these. And here we go. Are we already at the maximum speed for this bike? 95 miles an hour. That is shocking. I don't even think I need brakes at that speed. I could just let go of the accelerator and be able to, you know, still win. This is slow. Come on, we need a faster bike. We'll be getting to the faster one soon, though. Hopefully. I think the Yamaha section as well is going to take... Probably the same amount of time, maybe a little bit longer than the Honda. So, probably we'll end up with three videos for this section again. Come on, let's get this pass. Oh, that was a very good corner there. Three, two, one. Ta-da! And we win. 1 minute 11.032. That's a very, very good time. Nice. Awesome. Look at the other bike as well. It was 29 brake horsepower and lighter. So we've beaten a, less pow a more powerful and lighter bike with ours. Unbelievable. And here we go. 
the Yamaha SR400 is now ours to ride. It's very nice. I do like that exposed engine. It looks really cool. And especially the amount of detail that Grand um, Polyphony have put into this. They have to put more detail for the bikes than the cars. Uh, but next up is the Yamaha FZR400 from 1986. Let's go. And we're around the Clubman Stage Route 5. Awesome. And here we go. We're off. Slow down for the start of this corner. And then slow down all the way around here. Awesome. This is going really well so far. Nice. Come on, go, go, go. We got the overtake. Oh, no. Bugger, we hit the hard head on the wall. How do we manage that? That is the first time I've done that in... Probably since the um, licenses. That is the first time I've done that since the licenses. Interested. Okay. Nice. Stay away from the wall this time. We've actually managed to overtake the bike earlier than last time. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, but we did end up losing it, so uh, I don't think it counts. Nice. Can't do a wheelie yet, unfortunately. But there we go. Got the win. 1 minute 2 seconds point 6.21 Would have been quicker if we didn't um, crash or crash that first time either. But it was a very good run. And here we go. The Yamaha FZR400. Awesome. And we can fit it with the op optional exhaust modification as well. I forgot how to speak English then. It's kind of embarrassing based on the fact that I'm English. But uh, next up is going to be another moped, interestingly enough. And this is the Yamaha T-Max 05. And I feel like... Ooh, I quite like that. I quite like that uh, blue metallic purple. So we're going to go for this one. And this is one lap. We don't have much chance for this. Right, here we go. They are on a slower moped, so I presume the one lap should be quite easy. They definitely look like they're going very slow. Look at this. Easy catching up. Look at that. Already overtaken. This could be the award for the quickest one, actually. There we go. Quickest challenge yet. We haven't done one below 30 seconds. That was 28.393. I will take it. Very good. That was very good. Right, so next up we are going to be using the Yamaha YZF R6. Uh, this is sort of the first like super bike looking bike. Proper bike. And I really fancy it in red. Look at that. So uh, this is round Grand Valley East section as well. So let's go and see if we can do... If we can perform well. And here we go. Speed. We've got a lot of speed going through here. Right, let's try and slow down for this hairpin corner. And we slow down very well there. And this bike can do wheelies too. Just managing to hold a wheelie for a little bit there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay. Slow down, get control of the bike first, and then we can floor it again. Mm 
Oh, get riding up on the curb there. Again, I am using automatic transmission for this just because I am no good at riding bikes and doing like manual on that. Um, but obviously if I was to play like Gran Turismo or the Forza series that I'm planning soon, all of it will be done manual transmission. Don't you guys worry. Awesome, awesome. We've got one more lap to catch up with the bike. We would have had it earlier, but we had the wobble and that took us right off course. Oh, nearly a penalty there. Could have been the end of the game. We're going. Come on, just get it. Yes! Oh, that was so close. If that timer didn't tick over, we would have failed. That was one of the closest finishes ever. Guaranteed. And here we go. The YZF R6 is now ours to ride. I don't even know what the displacement is, whether it's uh, 250, 600, 400, whatever. But uh, we'll figure it out and work out whether we're going to take that bike for any of the future races. But uh, it is a street bike, so you can only take it for street races. Um, but next up is this, the T-Max Racing Modify, which looks... Looks horrendous. And we're going to take it in orange to make it look even more horrendous. But it's around the Sakuba circuit. I like this track, so let's go. Alright, here we go. We're going like for like. The bike in front is exactly the same as the bike we're driving. And obviously this is a racing modified bike, so it's slightly more powerful than the T-Max we drove earlier. Or rode earlier, should I say. That's the uh, correct term for biking. Oh, he has gone wide. It nearly took us with him. Right, we do have, with the Sakuba circuit, we have the extra section for the bikes that we have to do uh, deal with. Which I actually prefer that part of Sakuba, taking the extra section, personally. Oh, that was close. Right, we're on the long straight now. Let's go, let's go. Slow down a bit. See if we can get around the corner. Because on the exit, I'm going to try and do an overtake. Yes. Five. Slow down now. See if that's... Oh, that was a bit too early. But we still managed to get it. We beat the number 50 bike. We can now put the number 69 on ours. Lovely. And here we go. The Yamaha T-Max Racing Modify. Very nice. And let's put our number on. No. Hang on. There we go. 69. Perfect. We now have the number 69 on our bike. Very nice. Let's have a look and see what have we got now. The Yamaha SR400 Racing Modify. Okay. It's in bright green though. It's not even a bright green. It's like a old racing green. I don't like racing green. Right, here we go with the horrible racing green bike. Absolutely disgusting colour. Nice. That is awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Coming on to the inside here now. We 
might make the overtake before the end of the first lap. We have. Are we going to get the bike? Come on, let's do it. And across the line, 1 minute 4.981. Very good. GG's are all around. Nice. And there we go. The Yamaha SR400 Racing Modifier is now ours. I don't like it at all. Genuinely do not like the color. No, it's just not my thing. But uh, we have got our number on it, so that is decent. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like a